Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 11th of 2024 is titled Animation, Perseid Meteor Shower. So what do we see here? Well, here we're going to look at an animation that we can play with. And what it shows is the orbits of the planets in our solar system. And you can see those from Mercury in the purple way in the interior, very close to the sun there, out to Neptune out in the blue off in the distance. So we see the orbits of the eight planets. And then we see the orbit, the elliptical orbit of one of the comets. Now comets have highly elliptical orbits compared to the planets planets orbits are almost perfectly circular, but not quite they're slightly elliptical. So the cometary orbit is very elliptical. And all of those little white splotches that we see represent the bits of debris left behind by the comet in its orbit. Now as this as the comet moves through material is expelled from the comet, but it will continue to follow exactly the same path that was followed previously. So we can see that path here. And we can actually look at it in a little bit more detail. This is an interactive image if you go to the link in the description there and we can actually look at this as we zoom in and we can look towards that blue that is Earth. And as we come around we can also see how this is very three dimensional. Now we lose that when we tend to look at the solar system we tend to look at it as flat. But you can see how the orbit kind of goes right in to Earth there at the very very end. So it comes into the distance of Earth when this comet comes close to the inner solar system every hundred and a little over a hundred years or so. Now when that happens that debris then passes through so when Earth passes through that point in the orbit and we can watch the Earth there orbiting and as it comes into that portion then it will be cause a meteor shower. That is when we will get a meteor shower of material. So material from this comet, that little bit of debris that we see there, then strikes Earth's, at Earth's atmosphere and vaporizes. So that's when we will see meteors shooting across the sky. Now, why do we look at this now? Well, that's because this is the comet. This is Comet Swift-Tuttle, which is responsible for the meteors in the Perseid meteor shower, which is prominent right now. So it happens about mid August every year and tonight and several nights for the next couple nights after midnight, you will be able to see a number of meteors streaking across the sky. Now, they will occur. Why are they better after midnight? Well, that's just because the moon is out before midnight. So the moon is at about first quarter phase and sets at about midnight, meaning that once the sky gets darker, it's going to be much easier to see the meteors that are present. Now, again, as we look at this here and we can zoom around it, we can see that debris. Now that debris is normally invisible. So that's not something that we could normally see and it's highlighted here just to bring it to our attention. So depending on where the orbit of a planet intersects this debris, that would cause the meteor shower. Now it's quite possible with many comets and in fact with most comets that they will never intersect Earth's orbit and we don't get a meteor shower from them. However, some comets like Swift Tuttle do give us a very distinct meteor shower. And in fact, one of the most prominent meteor showers that occurs because that orbit does pass through very close to Earth's orbit here. So we can then see the meteor shower. But if we looked at other planets such as Jupiter in the yellow, we can see that Jupiter would not get much of a meteor shower from this because the orbit passes well above and well below the orbit of Jupiter. So we could really use this to just really look and visualize the orbit of that comet and the debris that has been left behind over time as that comet passes through every 130 years or so and passes into the inner solar system. So that was our picture of the day for August 11th of 2024. It was titled Animation Perseid Meteor Shower. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sky streaks. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.